Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert Wonder for two or two B's Gundam Dot. TK in the end of the month means new hobby magazines, Dengeki Hobby, Hobby Japan, and all sorts of scans online that you can go and check out with big news, including in the real great Excitement Embodied 1144th line, where it's been announced we already knew that we were going to be getting the GP01 from 0083 Stardust Memories, and now we're also, at the exact same time, going to be getting the FB, the full Vernier version, which is definitely going to make old school UC fans happy. And it shows some neat bits of symmetry here with history. As we all know, 1995 saw the Gundam followed up by the Zaku and the G3. So just repaints there before we got to see the Zeta. And you can see that these things are starting to have some similarities with what we'd be seeing with the real grade line. No Gelgu yet, but you can see that pretty much after the repaints there, it was straight on to 0083, which had aired in the early 90s there, 91, 92. So 1997, this was new, this was hot to get the original GP01 there. And it was only a short time later, after the regular Gelgoog there, that you got to see in December of 1997, the full Vernier version there for just a little bit of a price up, 3,000 yen. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with the real grades. As it looks like this time here, where the Master Grade had a price in increase, they're both going to be coming out for that sweet RG price of 2,500 yen. So far, it's only the Zeta that has broken that mold. Anyway, it looks like there may be some color differences, but of course it's early on in the prototype stage and we'll be getting a lot more releases, scans, and news as things get nearer and nearer. Overall though, I think this is just sort of interesting to see that you see the same patterns, even the same pricing as you're talking about 2500 for a Master Grade and now the exact same price for a Real Grade. Very similar here, we just had some Seed and a little bit of Seed Destiny interspersed in between, but otherwise it looks like it's going to be the go-to stuff for UC fans in Japan and all around the world. So anyway, everybody, stick around. I can't wait to add these to the collection. And of course, future speculation. What are we talking about here? GP02, GP03, GP00, GP04. All sorts of cool speculation as to the future, but you think 02 and 03 are going to be almost definites in the year after that if they follow the patterns that they've done with the earlier real grades. With another set of pleasant news being in the real grade line that the Destiny Gundam is going to be getting custom effect parts there. It looks like they're going to be 1500 yen and they're going to come from a different plastic it looks like from what we've seen with the Master Grade version that already came out with the better version of that. So you're not going to have it at retail perhaps. But you'd think that this would make a lot of fans happy and especially if they're going to do the same thing with Strike Freedom when it gets its inevitable 1144th RG as well. Anyway, everybody, love to hear your thoughts and stick around for lots more news, reviews, and everything else you can use. See ya. Seriously, who just adds some blue to their shoulders and goes whooshing around fast in space?